flatware creations. We are making one of the pieces for our hinge bracelets, like the one that we broke. So we're making this piece here today so we can get our kind of assembly line going. Um, one of the little things I've, I've been doing after going through and marking them all, I went through. And you're doing something, but I can't find Barbara. Okay. Give me one second. Barbara the fish. So I'm taking my measurement. My fingernail is at the one. I'm just going to put this right up next to it. Put my fingernail at the mark. It's a little crimp. And doing that's been going pretty quickly. I wanted to get this shown to you guys before I finished. <laughs> uh, once my OCD kicks in, it just kind of keeps going. All right, so we have our dish full of these spring pieces. What's left on them now, as you can see this sharp edge right here. Just not gonna focus on it. But there's a sharp spot right there. And there's a sharp spot right here from the other side. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna trim these down. So I'm gonna use my, my sander here. So one inch felt sander from Harbor Freight. I'm going to take it down a little bit, flat. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. I'm bringing it in here and get it nice and flat first. And then I'm going to kind of go over the edge to kind of just round it out. So be, anytime you're pushing against this, the harder you press, the hotter it's going to get. And the longer it's on here, the hotter it's going to get. So be careful. There's not a whole lot of metal here to protect your fingers. Uh, as always, glasses. And I would say dust mask. But I will hold my breath for now so I can talk right after. piece. Both ends are nice and smooth here. Nothing sharp. That's what we want. All right, here we are at our press. I have this on the shallowest setting in my block, my forming block here. I want to take and make sure that it's centered in here. So what I did there Zoom in on that for you. So the back end of my block is, is up off here. As I push down, that's centering it for me. So now I know it's dead center. Sometimes I'll put it in like this. And where it comes out isn't in the same spot. It wants to push it forward or push it out. So I've just taken just push it down nice and easy, just a little tip. So we're gonna take our spring here. We want it centered. So the same amount is up on the block on each side. And I'm still on the table. We're not gonna go all the way down with this thing. I don't think. We just wanna put a little bit of a bend in there. So we are all the way down. Just a little bend. There you go. So, I like this bend a little bit better. I did have to put down a little bit more pressure on the back side of this, of the spring. 
these aren't opening. That's one thing that you want to make sure that you're not opening up the spring. I don't have anything for it to focus against, but it should still all be nice and tight with just a little curve. All right. So now that we have our spring done, we're going to recreate this old bracelet. So our next portion here is we're going to make our mark. It's about a quarter inch. Let's do it in centimeters. Let's go five centimeters. Okay, I'm cheating. We're done. Actually, I was going too slow with the saw. It wasn't making the right cuts. So I took it to the band saw and we are left with this. So these can be rough. They're gonna get shaped way down, but we're left with our center sections equal lengths. That's the important part. All right, so now what we're we going to do What we need to do now, and I have that straight, or those corners off there a little bit. The goal is to get this piece, there it is, to get this little nub as far inside of this spring as we can get it. So we want to make this round to fit in the hole, and we want to try and keep it as even as possible. The first time I did this, I ended up with my, um, I ended up with the end of my nub, which at a point, and we don't want that. We want to try and keep it as uh, straight as we can get it. So we get the most amount of material here. And as we're going along, we want to test fit every so often because at some at one point this is just going to slip in there. So we're about halfway right now. And I know it's at the end that's catching up. So we'll keep grinding away, try and keep it nice and even.
So we're almost there. This piece fits in there. We're going to have to reshape in a little bit because we're not quite right here, but we'll get all of this bent. And you can see how this is bent and it looks like it's going kind of downwards. So we're gonna put this in the press and get it to bend once we get the other side done. So both everything is together. The one thing that we have left to do is kind of taper these edges the outside edges down a little bit more to where it comes more to a point and make sure that you're not touching this after we've already test fit it so now it looks a lot more even it looks like it was kind of made to go in there a lot cleaner all right I'll get the next one done and we'll be right back so We've made our spring. We have cleaned it up. We bent it. We made our handle pieces with the tabs on them. And we have got them in position to be soldered. So, I don't exactly remember what I did last time and I didn't film it. So I do remember I used rosin core solder and I'm pretty sure that I used this Waterflow 2000 uh, flux. This is kind of a liquid flux. Um, I just used a little brush to put it on and I do remember the last time I didn't use a heat sink. I don't have any of the, uh, the solder cold stuff. So I just, I'm gonna use a little heat sink. We don't wanna get the spring too hot. So I need this, my little butane torch. We need a lighter. I'm just gonna take kind of dab this around our nub here and up onto the brace a little bit and I'm going to go into the hole. We'll get that put back. Do this side. I just want to make sure that I have everything as clean as it can be. that back in there. Make sure everything looks straight. Okay. So I'm just going to have my wire out like this. And we're going to get this kind of all warmed up. I already see it's starting to part on me. So, that's about nice and hot.
make sure this doesn't come apart. It stays where I want it to. A bottle of water. Get that side cooled down. Move on to this side. And I'm pretty much just keeping the heat right here. Just right where I want the solder to flow into. Sure that really flows well. It looks pretty good. Just double check everything straight. So we got a little gap at the top, take care of that. And to do that, I'm going to bring you over here. Okay, get rid of this. We're going to go for the next biggest size now. And we're just going to bend it just a little bit. Just trying to get it centered again. Just get this buffed up. Right, there we go. Nice pretty spring bracelet. And this one actually pretty much fits. I'm excited. So we broke it. And then we remade it and it's still very solid but i know the last one of these we bent to 41 pounds before it broke apart which was actually this bracelet how's that there we go that's better i'll have my blue light up soon you'll be able to see them a lot then so that guy right there is salt and pepper and that guy there is sunny side there he is sunny side and salt and pepper all right well i hope you guys all have a great day and keep making